How's it going everyone? JKFCX here, back on Foot 2004 once again. Just finished watching the Update 21 livestream that Playground Games have just hosted. So in today's video I have all the information you have to know about Update 21, which is coming out within the next few days and the first season starting this Thursday. We've got six new cars this month, which is pretty good. We've got a new feature, which is quite a big feature, and then a couple of other bugs and fixes and stuff and stuff like that. One thing I do want to quickly say, I say this every now and then, if this video does help you out, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It helps out massively. I don't say that very often. I have been recently because it's been helping me out. So just consider if this video helps you out. So let's get on to the new cars that we're getting this month. I've got the list of cars on my phone, so sorry if I'm looking down here. So this month's festival playlist, at 50% completion, you'll unlock the Hummer H1. And then at 80% completion, the McLaren F1. Now the first week which is summer, now there is a new car in each week, so pay attention. The first week which is summer, which starts this Thursday, at 50% completion we'll get the first new car which is the Corvette hashtag 777 Formula Drift. This is the first new car and then at 80% completion you can get the Aston Martin DBS and then through exclusive events this week you can get the Rabbit Ears and the Rabbit Suit. The second week which is autumn which starts next week. At 50% completion, you can get the Hudson Hornet. At 80% completion, the Aston Martin DBR1. And then, through an exclusive championship, you can get the Mark III Toyota Supra. This was a car that we all guessed correctly from Tourman Tuesday. Another new car. The third week, which is winter, which starts two weeks from now. At 50% completion, you can get the Mercedes AMG E63S. Another new car. This is the third new car of the month and you can get it at 50% completion. Now at 80% completion, you can get the Honda NSX-R. Now the fourth week, which is spring, at 50% completion, you can get the KTM Crossbow. At 80% completion, the uh, Ferrari 599XX Evo. And then through an exclusive championship, you can get the Ferrari 599 Formula Drift, the car in the thumbnail of this video, another new car. Now that's the festival playlist, and that is four of the new six new cars. We're going to get to the other two in a minute. The other two new cars are actually in the new feature that's being added, and we'll get to that now. There's a new feature being added, and it is called the Horizon Promo. Everyone should know what this is if you played some previous Forza Horizon games. Horizon Promo is the feature where you can take pictures of cars and get rewards for it. Basically, you have to take pictures of every single car in the game. And as you take pictures of more and more cars, you'll level yourself up. You'll get wheel spins, you'll get credits, you'll get cars. We'll get to that in a minute. It essentially just adds a list and a bit of a challenge to the game to take a picture of every single car at least once. Picture on screen right now of sort of what it looks like. It was in Horizon 3, so most people are going to be familiar with this. But this is where two of the other new cars are. 685 cars need to be taken pictures of, if that makes sense, and you can get up to up to 730,000 credits worth um, in rewards, which is pretty cool. But once you take a picture of 100 cars and get up to that specific tier, you'll unlock the 2018 Ferrari Portofino, the other new car this month. And then when you get to 200 cars, the Porsche Gunther Works 400R, which is another new car that is all six of the new cars four of them in the festival plays as shown and then two of them in the new horizon promo feature after you take pictures of enough cars the ferrari portofino and the porsche gunther works i presume this feature will be available straight away i think worst case scenario will be out on thursday in a couple of days but chances are that's out very imminently and we can get those two new cars but that's six new cars total which is pretty cool another thing that they vaguely showed is they've made a little bit of a made some changes to the car collection menu there are now a few more filters and because of this new feature the horizon promo you can now go into the car collection and see which cars you have left you can see which cars you've taken pictures of see which cars you own and you've not taken pictures of and stuff like that there's a lot more filters i don't know if i managed to get any screenshots of this but there's definitely some changes to the car collection menu coming in this update as well Next up is basically the updates and fixes for this update. I'm going to go through them now. They have extended the time of the Eliminator feed in the Eliminator. So you can see the see the, the kills and stuff more often. And um, they have fixed VIP, VIP players being given 
a notification that they've been given rewards when they haven't actually been given rewards. They fixed an audio issue in the Napier Railton, which I noticed myself. One of the gears was louder than it should have been. And they've also removed um, seven cars from the Eliminator, which I'll read out now. The Hillman IMP, the Unimog, the Mercedes, the six-wheeler Mercedes, the Hummer H1, the Bentley Bentayga, the Bentley Continental, and the Ford M Sport Fiesta RS, all are now removed from the Eliminator. I think there was some more bugs and fixes, but I think they kind of got cut off, so we don't know what those are. Now, something else cool which is worth mentioning, last week's Torben Tuesday, where we guessed the cars and guessed the clues, we actually got three of the four clues correctly. Now, the fourth one was actually wrong, because we presumed that the fourth clue was also a car, but actually it wasn't. It was a clue towards the Horizon promo feature. So this Torben Tuesday went pretty well, if you ask me. Now, something I also will mention is it seemed like they're doing pretty well with the car sounds. In the stream, they drove both of the Ferraris, the Toyota Supra and the Mercedes, and all of them sounded pretty cool. The Toyota and the both of the Ferraris especially sounded quite nice. And they were also driving the Porsche 918 in the stream, and it sounded different to usual. There's a chance they may have updated a few car sounds in this update as well. I could be wrong, but worst case, the new cars sound pretty good, so that's good. Well, that is basically everything you need to know about Update 21, ladies. It'll be coming out within the next few days, maybe even tomorrow, maybe even tonight. But most of the new cars will be available from this Thursday, one per week. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you've enjoyed it, come up with more content. I'll see you all later.